Hello, my name is Kayla Gutterslow and I'm a park aide for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers here at Carlisle Lake. Today we will be learning about foxes. Foxes were not common on the East Coast when the settlers arrived, but they became more common in the mid-1800s. Some European foxes were released here in North America for fur farming. Today, there are 56 fox farms in the United States and 35 in Canada. More red foxes are raised on farms for their fur than any other wild fur-bearing mammal. Foxes are a part of the canine family. They are also the smallest of wild dogs in North America. Overall, there are 37 species of foxes, but only 12 of them are true foxes. The two species you may see in this area are the red fox and the gray fox. The red fox is the largest fox species. They have a bright red coat that variates depending on the season. They have a big bushy tail that is usually half of their body length. They use their tail for balance, to keep warm, and a signal flag for communication. The, fo the red fox are usually 14 to 20 inches high and 19 to 35 inches long, and they range about 5 to 22 pounds. Next, we will talk about the gray fox. The gray fox have a coat that is gray and black, but they do have red around their face and on their bellies and near their, their legs. They are smaller than the red fox and they range from about eight to 15 pounds and they get about 12 to 15 inches tall. They have sharp claws to help them dig their dens and climb trees. They have whiskers that help them navigate through their dark dens. Now that you know how to identify foxes you may see in your area, let's talk about where you may find them. Foxes like forested areas, but they can live in many other environments, including plains, mountains, deserts, urban areas, and suburban areas. Many create dens underground, but they live alone instead of groups. They are omnivores and they eat a very diverse diet, which is why they can live anywhere. They usually eat rodents, rabbits, squirrels, beetles, worms, and even spiders. You may have heard the myth that foxes kill for fun, but that is false. Foxes kill when they aren't hungry because they go through times when food is scarce. They will kill their prey and then they will bury it and store it for later. Thanks for watching. Please remember to practice social distancing at this time and always wear your life jacket.